What's going on, everybody? This is CJ Salvesberg, your program coordinator from Silver Heights Neighborhood Association, and welcome to week five of our YouTube videos. This is our bug and insect week. It's a really fun week. I hope everybody's enjoying it so far. We're having a blast with it thus far. It's a great time, and we hope you really like this one coming up, okay? Before I get started, first of all, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. We really appreciate this support during our summertime, camp in a box, all that fun stuff. So for today, for all you awesome campers out there, we're going to create our own butterflies. Oh, you're going to love it. It's a great one. It's so much fun, and it's not too difficult to mix. You're going to like it. What we're going to need is cardboard tube. Either a paper plate or a coffee filter, your choice. Scissors, tape or glue or both, whatever you want to use. And then I had to substitute straws for pipe cleaners, but you folks should use pipe cleaners. You can also use paint or markers, crayons, etc. Okay, here we go. So, first step is I've already started doing it a little bit for you, but you folks will be a lot more entertaining than mine. You're going to start coloring in the tube to your liking. You can use paint, different colors. You can make it any color you want. I just went with a simple bit of black. So you can color in as much or as little as you'd like, okay? I'm not going to dictate to you folks what you can or cannot do, okay? Now, the other fun part, you leave space here. You can attach a pair of googly eyes here. I don't have any, so I had to draw some on. They're a little scary looking. I know, I was a little, yeah, I was concerned when I saw it too. I went, oh, goodness me. So once that's all colored, you're ready to rock, ready to roll. If it's being painted, leave it somewhere to dry, off the table, preferably, or on a piece of cardboard. So what you're going to do now is you're going to grab your coffee filter, or plate in this case, and you're going to cut out a little pizza slice, just like that, okay? Not too shabby, right? So it's going to be like a big, large pizza slice gone out of there. So I'll flip it over, because I've already taken the courtesy. So I just colored it in, put in a couple blue dots because I didn't have any black markers or anything like that, unfortunately. So you can color this in any way you want. You can paint it, add dots, stripes, rainbows, whatever your heart's desire. I'm not going to limit you folks as to what you do, okay? Excellent. So far, so good, eh? Now, the fun part is we're going to take some tape or glue and we're going to attach it, the wings, to the top. See how far I want that sucked around there. So one sec, folks. Perfect. What I did is measured out, see how far my eyes were. So now I got a reference spot. Take some tape, hold it in behind itself. There's one. So I'm gonna do about oh my straws are sticking to me too. Do about three good pieces of tape here. That should stick, okay? Should stick. I have faith. We'll do the stick test in about eight seconds. Count me down, ready? So, uh, here we go. There a good push on there. Here comes the stick test. Oh, works like a charm. So that's what we've got going so far. Yours will look a little bit different than mine, but like I said, this is just me giving you a quick tutorial, okay? Excellent. Here comes the tricky part. We're going to add a pair of antennas. So you can use pipe cleaners, but I'm going to use straws in this case. That's all I got. So same thing with your uh, pipe cleaners. You can either poke them through and twist them off at the bottom, or you can tape them down. That's what I'm going to do with my straws. Now they can go anywhere you wish. They can go up high on the very front over here, wherever your heart's desired, okay? As soon as I can hold this thing down and tape it, that'd be a really good thing. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There's one. It's easier with pipe cleaners, folks. Trust me. <laughs> and there is two... Coming up. Perfect. I like it stick. Excellent. Perfect. So, got a little pair of antennas. So yours could be pipe cleaners or straws if you got them. Whatever you prefer. The straws are a little more difficult to work with than the pipe cleaners, but that's okay. Awesome. Let me grab my straw piece here. There it is. Now, final part. we got to add some legs to our butterfly. Okay, so you can flip her onto its back. As long as the plate's dry and everything like that, don't do it while it's still wet. I don't want anybody to get in trouble from parents, okay? I got you back, don't worry, everyone. So same thing. You can use pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, straws, whatever your heart's desire. I'm just going to pop on a pair of legs here super quickly for you folks at home. If I can get the tape to stop sticking to me and onto the cardboard. There we go. Another one here. Oops. 
So there's one side getting done. So you folks will have pipe cleaners or whatever else to use. If you're using straws, you can cut them up. It's easier to work with, but they're just a pain to put on. So you can use any color that you like on here. Green, yellow, purple, orange, blue, all the colors, none of the colors. Whatever your hearts desire, folks. All right, last leg here, everyone. Last leg. I don't know how symmetrical we're going to be, but hey, that's okay. All in good fun, right? What? My stick test, it fell. Huh. Excellent. And here we go, folks. We got our own DIY cardboard tube butterfly. And if you really want to have some fun, grab a bit of string, taper it down on the inside, and now you got a flying ladybug. Not a bad deal, eh? Awesome. Thank you all so much for joining CJ here all at SNA for our week five bug and insects. Thanks for coming out to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll catch y'all later. This is CJ saying, have a good one.